cosmic sneeze. Three, two, one. Come out, Bartleby. Come out wherever you are. With my ninja kitty hiding skills, True will never find me. <laughs> what? Huh? Little helpers, knock it off. You're giving away my hidey spot. Why? Wow. <laughs> I guess my ninja landing skills are better than my ninja hiding skills. <laughs> huh? <laughs> what was that? Sounds like someone's got a really bad cold. What's huh? What's Whoa! Our house was not orange and blue before. I wonder what's going on. Let's see if anyone else's house is changing color. Whoa! Each time we hear that sneeze, something changes color. <laughs> Amazing! <laughs> B, you'd better take a look at yourself. You're looking a little... Green? Huh. What do you think, Drew? Does it bring out the color in my eyes? <laughs> <laughs> True, your hair. It's pink. And almost as fabulous as mine. <laughs> Thanks, B. <laughs> it looks like the sneezes are coming from the Rainbow Castle. Oh, oh no! no. True, Bartleby. Oh, my greenness, I'm so happy you're here. Your greenness? Check out my greenness. I see what you mean. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It seems I've caught a nasty case of the Wachugi boogies. What, Chugi boogies? Yes. Uh, they make me very sneezy. And as you may have noticed, tend to confound my colors. I'll say, everything changes color when you sneeze. But it'll be okay, right? Purple pumpkins, no. From what I've read, if I don't remedy my wachugi boogie soon, the color changes will spread and stay that way forever. Forever? There has to be some way to stop it, Your Highness. According to legend, the only cure is to be tickled by the feather of a Hinotari bird. It's a magical bird that lives high atop Mount Tippy Tippy Top. But it's so steep and cold and snowy, no one's ever made it all the way up. Well, we will, because we're gonna get you that feather. True, you mustn't. It's far too dangerous. You're our friend, Rainbow King. When a friend is in need, we do whatever we can to help. Isn't she the greatest? I mean, isn't she? Come on, Bartleby! Wait, before you leave, what's your Bartleby? Yes! We're, We're us, us again! again. Five, 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 Yeah! yeah. And uh, mm. please, dress warmly. Mm -hmm. Oh, Cumulo! <laughs> Bring us to Mount Tippy Tippy Top, please! <laughs> and fast! <laughs> straight to the mountain top and get the feather. <laughs> oh no, Cumulo's got a bad case of icicle rump. The air's too cold up here for clouds. Cumulo's freezing. Hold on, buddy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ah! Easy, Cumulo. We're gonna be okay. There, the sunlight will warm you right back up again. You know, this mountain isn't as high as I thought. It's way higher. It's too steep and cold and snowy to climb on our own. Now we need some wish help. To the wishing tree, Cumulo. <laughs> Thanks, Cumulo. Crazy. Hello, True. I need some ingredients, please, wishes. Oh. That soup smells, um, <coughs> different. It's for the king. 
It won't heal him, but it should help him rest until we find a cure for his Wachugala, Wachuniwu, Wachuluhua, his cold. Sip? I knew you'd like it. So how can the wishing tree help you? We have to climb Mount Tippy Tippy Top. What? That mountain is gigantic. I don't think that's a good idea. It's the only way to get a Hinotari feather to tickle the king and get rid of his Wachugi boogies. Along with my soup. <laughs> Your climb will be a challenge. Let's have a think about this. <sighs> so how will you get up there? Well, it's really steep and snowy. And cold. It's fur freezing cold. We'll need a wish to help us with the climb and a wish to help us with the cold. The wishing tree has heard you, True. It's time to get your three wishes. I'm ready. Wishing tree, wishing tree, please share your wonderful wishes with me. An amazing group of wishes. <laughs> Let's see what the Wishopedia says about them. Your first wish is Floto. It's a floating wish. It can float anything or anyone inside its bubble. That'll be great for getting us over those tricky spots. <laughs> now for wish number two. Ah, uh, yes, Warmo. It can heat up anything, like the delicious soup I made for the king. Yes, Warmo can melt the snow and the ice that's blocking our way so we can get to the top of the mountain. Yeah, best used for melting snow. Not so much for heating soup. And lastly, you have Blabby. Ooh, this wish is exciting. It's a communication wish. Blah, blah, blah. It can help you understand what someone is saying, no matter what language they speak. Hey, how you doing, True and B? <laughs> Amazing. I'm just not sure how a talking wish can help us get the feather for the king. Maybe I'm just a blabby mouth, but I say you'll figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Z. And thank you, Wishing Tree, for sharing these wishes with me. Good luck, you two. Back to Mount Tippy Tippy Top, please, Cumula. Perfect spot, Cumula. Thanks. And look, there's a path. No need for wishes yet. We're off to a great start. Let's find that feather. They're nice and cozy, Your Highness. How about some homemade soup? Oh, thank you. <laughs> well, well, that's different. Oh, Z, what's that behind you? Huh? I didn't see anything. Oh, sipped all your soup? I hope it helps. Oh, uh, yes. Um, <laughs> I can feel it working already. <laughs> hey, I'm the same color as my soup. <laughs> Thanks, True. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Slide-a-thon! <laughs> that is a really icy hill ahead. Don't worry, B. We have a wish that can help. We'll float over it. Come on, Floto. Time to bubble up. Zip, zap, zoo, I choose you! Wake up, Floto! Wish come true! Hi, Floto. We need 
you to bubble us up and float us over that icy hill to the other side. Ready to float? get smaller when they get cold? I, I guess they do. But on the bright side, more kitty cuddle time, right? True. Did you grow a mustache? No, it's your tail. And it's tickling my nose. My whiskers are caught under your boot. Here, Floto. Pop us out. <laughs> <sighs> Thanks, Floto. <laughs> You know what else is cold on Mount Tippy Tippy Top? Me. Oh, me too. Let's fix that. Warming hug. Mm. This book of sneeze cures should help ease your discomfort, Sire. First, apply warming cream to help clear the sinuses. <coughs> Not sure, this is. Next, cover the patient's head in a warm woolly hat. I. I, 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 I. I don't think. Then, oh, playing soft music helps patients relax. <laughs> it's working. What you? 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 What's going on out there? <gasps> what you? What you? Flying photons! The whole city's gone crazy with color! Are you okay, B? A little sore, but at least it didn't start an avalanche. Can we just pretend I didn't say that? There's no time to waste. We'll have to melt our way through. Zip, zap, zoo, I choose you! Wake up, Warmo! Wish come true! Let's warm things up, Warmo. So warm, so toasty. Just a bit more. There. Thanks, Warmo. Uh, True, it's gotten really slippery again. I guess melting the avalanche that fast made the path icy. No, we went three steps forward and a hundred steps back. Then we'd better start climbing. Just watch out for the slippery parts this time. Oh, I will. I will. <laughs> I'm a kitty cat sickle. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> Upside down sickle. <laughs> Sorry, B. True, the Rainbow King is getting worse. The entire kingdom is changing colors. <gasps> Please hurry. Come on, Bartleby. We have to get to the top. Fast. I'll say. Stripes and polka dots? Yeah. Um, who's that? I don't know, and I don't want to find out. <gasps> It's a snow elfling. Wait, come back! Your hug was keeping me warm. <sighs> <sighs> Thanks, Warmo. Can I keep you forever and ever? Can I? Hi, I'm True, and this is my best friend Bartleby. Could you please take us to the top of Mount Tippy Tippy Top? What's he trying to tell us? To go home? <laughs> we are so not going home. Snow elfling. The Rainbow King has the Wachugi Boogies. To help him get well, we have to find a special feather from a Hinotari bird who lives at the top of the mountain. Badu badiri, staburidu, staburidu!
Why won't he let us pass? I don't get it. I don't know, B. We can't understand what he's saying. True, I got this. <coughs> Speaking louder <coughs> won't help. No, but we have a wish that can. Zip, zap, zoo, I cheat you. Wake up, Blobby. Wish come true. Hi, Blobby. Can you translate what the snow elfling is saying so we can understand him? Blah, blah, blah. Hmm. Uh, okay. Really? <clears throat> Don't take the path. It's the long way up to the mountain top. <gasps> it's, it's working. working. Oh, I did not know that. Back this way is a secret passage through the mountain. It's warm and it's safe and what was that? It has a great shortcut to the top. <laughs> Easy peasy mountain squeezy. I added the last part. Oh, yes! Thank you so much, Snow Elfling. Lead the way, please. Sorry, I can't go, boy. Body big up. I that. Tastes like Z soup, but way better. Bartle, 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 look. It's beautiful. Wow. Oh, that's so nice. Oh. Hinotari bird, we need your help to cure the Rainbow King. Your magical feather is the only way we can, and we only need one. Please. I would like to help you, but I'm afraid that I cannot. Huh? <gasps> Why? I only shed my feathers when it's summertime. Summer? It's not even close to summer up here. <laughs> Let's think about this, Bee. Wormo still active, right? Oh, yeah. My fur has never been toastier. Then we can use this warm glow to help us. If the Hinotari bird only sheds its feathers when it feels warmer, maybe we can melt the ice so it feels like summer. Then she'll give us a feather. That's it. Oh, yeah. Feather weather. True, that's an awesome idea. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There go, <laughs> it's working. Ooh. That was our last chance to cure the Rainbow King. <sighs> Thank you for warming me up again. I hope the king feels much better. We, we did it! Oh, thank you, Warmo and Blobby. This feather's going to a tickle party. Bartleby, the king is getting worse. His sneezes are draining all of the color from Rainbow City. Watch out, Ah, hurry. As quick as we can, Z. Bartleby, look. Watch out, Ebuki. Watch out, Ebuki. Watch out, Watch out, Oh, no. Help. Watch out, Ebuki. be any color left at all if we don't get back to the king fast. We need Cumulo. Oh, wait. Oh, he can't fly this high. I know what we have to do. We need to slide down. <laughs> An ice sled for sliding? Perfect. Thank you, Snow Elfling. Ready to rocket down the steepest mountain ever? Sounds terrifying. <laughs> Let's do this.
City with no color, me with no color. The only thing left with color is you, Rainbow King. Uh, uh, what are you You're fading too. One more sneeze and you'll be gray. Uh, 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 uh. It's working! The colors are coming back! Sparkling sapphires! I feel so much better! I'm cured! Thank you! True! No climber has ever made it up Mount Tippy Tippy Top, the steepest, snowiest, coldest peak in the kingdom. Well done. When a friend's in need, we do everything we can to help them, sire. Like climb the highest mountain ever. If you want to rename it True and Bartleby Mountain, we wouldn't mind a action. Soup Bartleby? <laughs> uh, huh. I thought only the Wachugi Boogies made things change color. <laughs> Okay, I take that back. <laughs> <laughs> Rainbow Rescue! Ending. Could you imagine a full-time rainbow carnival? <laughs> I think it means the rainbow is never-ending, Bartleby, not the day. Hmm, where do we start, B? Easy. Breakfast! Then... <laughs> Just a visit to Dilly Dally's Diorama of Dazzling Delight? Rainbow King! Happy never-ending Rainbow Day, Your Majesty! And to you too, True and Bartleby. So, what's this Dilly with the Dazzly doodads? <laughs> Dilly Dally's Diorama of Dazzling Delight! It's full of the most wonderful treasures from all across the kingdom. Like this zookalele. My good friend Dilly Dally gave it to me. You know Dilly Dally? The great explorer? Indeed I do. She is one of my dearest friends, and we both love music, so she always brings me back a musical souvenir from her travels. Can we meet her? Oh, goodness, no. Dilly Dally went on an adventure to find a magical instrument at the end of the never-ending rainbow last year. She's been gone a whole year? No wonder they call her Dilly Dally. Come to think of it, that is an awfully long time, even for Dilly Dally. I fear she may be missing. Missing? We have to go find her. Jumping, Juniper. It's far too dangerous, True. Anyone who crosses the never-ending rainbow must be prepared to face anything and come back before sunset. If anyone can find Dilly Dally and bring her back, it's me and Bartleby. Very well. But remember, 
At sunset, the never-ending rainbow will vanish for another year. We'll move kitty nutty fast. Right, Drew? First things first, we need some wish help. Oh, Cumulo! <laughs> Thanks, Cumulo. We'll get you back to the carnival in time for the next ride. Do the wishing tree, please. Okay, wishes from the top. <gasps> Musical wishes. True, Bartley. You like jazz? Listen to this. We love Toozy, but we're in a real hurry. Yeah, we're going over the never-ending rainbow. To find Dilly Dally. The great explorer. As I remember, she never came back from her last expedition. Right, so we're heading over the rainbow to find her. That means you'll have to come back by the end of the day. What if you get stuck on the other side too? We do have to hurry, Z but we'll be just fine, as long as we have the right wish help. Absolutely. Let's sit and have a think. <sighs> okay, True, how can the wishing tree help you? Well, maybe Dilly Dally didn't come back because she's trapped or needs some kind of help. We have to be prepared for anything. Right. We don't know what you might find over the rainbow. We might not know, but the wishing tree always shares the right wishes. Then it's up to me to figure out how to use them. You always do, True. The wishing tree has heard you, True. It is time to get your three wishes. I'm ready. Wishing tree, wishing tree, please share your wonderful wishes with me. <laughs> wishing tree, share with me. Tiny wishes, wishing tree. Wishing tree, please share with me. Magic power for you and me. <laughs> Exciting ensemble of wishes. Now let's see what the Wishipedia says about their powers. This is Booster. Booster. This one will really blow you away. Booster can take a big breath and blow out a super powerful jet of air. I can't wait to see you in action, Booster. Who do we have next? Ah, uh, yes, this is Wampit. Wampit! As you know, Wampit is a stomping wish that just loves to stomp and smash the ground. Nice to see you again, Wampit. I don't know when we'll need your help, but I'm sure we'll have a smashing good time. Wampit! And finally, we have Coral Coral. <laughs> got it, got it, got it. A super rare wish. Coral Coral has grippy powers. It can help you walk on really slippery surfaces. Amazing! I'm glad to have you with us, Coro Coro. Are you three ready for an adventure on the never ending rainbow? <laughs> Zoo zip zap wishes in my pack. <laughs> Thanks, Z. We'll be back soon. I'm counting on it. to the carnival. We can walk from here. Yep, it'll be nice to stretch our legs a bit. Besides, how long did it take to cross the never-ending rainbow? Came all this way by herself. 
I wonder what she was hoping to find. I'm hoping to find the world's biggest Zazuni juice. Mmm, super frosty with lots of ice cubes and... A fork! Um, I think a straw might work better for Zazuni juice, True. No, it's a fork in the rainbow. Look! Huh? Which way should we go? I've got this, True. My tail always knows which way to go. That away! Why did your tail pick that path? Easy. That other path has stairs. <laughs> <laughs> Good call, Tail. Let's go. Well, it's nothing but smooth sailing from here on out. <gasps> right, True? Uh-oh. What do you mean, uh-oh? <gasps> oh, dear. It's like walking a tightrope. We just need to walk slow and steady. Trickier than I thought. <laughs> Not for a red tabby kitty natty. Watch me, okay? Then just do what I do. <laughs> See, true? Easy peasy, rainbow squeezy. Oh, 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 oh. Hang on, Bee. Oh, oh. oh gotcha. Phew. Phew. You okay, Bartleby? I am now. But I don't think I could have held myself up much longer. Whoa, we're high. This could work if we do it together. I'll hold you up. And you hold me up, okay? Yeah, okay, you got it. Ready? Easy. Ready? Okay, come on. Okay. You can do it, True. Just don't look down, because we're up so high. And you don't want to get dizzy. You don't even want to think about falling. Because it'll be like... Oh, I can't look. Done. What? We're here. We made it. We did it. Go teamwork, right? <laughs> Thanks, B. Couldn't have done it without you. And look, we're almost at the top of the rainbow. Yeah, we can handle anything this wacky rainbow can throw at us. <laughs> and I spoke too soon. Come on! We'd better be quick if we're going to beat that storm. Excuse me. Hi. We really need to get to the other side of the rainbow. Could you please let us through? Aw, you're stuck and too full of rain to move? What do we do, Drew? We can't just stroll through a lightning cloud. One wrong move and... <laughs> <laughs> Not if we use some wish power to blow it away. Time for my first wish. Zip, zap, we want to do. Wake up, Booster. Wish come true. Hi, Booster. See that big storm cloud over there? <laughs> It's stuck on the rainbow, and it needs our help. Let's give it a push with your super strong wind. Okay, Booster. Blow, blow, blow! <laughs> Ticklish. One more time, Booster. <laughs> Thanks for not zapping us. <laughs> Great job, Booster. Now back in the pack. Uh -huh. Whoa. Well, be careful, Bee. It's a little slippery. <laughs> This is fun and all, but we don't have any brakes! Prepare for a crash landing! <laughs> wow! We made it, Bee! This is the end of the rainbow! <gasps> Dilly Dally must be somewhere on this island! Hello? Dilly Dally! 
Are you here? <gasps> Listen, do you hear a tink, tink, tink? You must have cat ears, True. I tink, tink, tink. The tink, tink, tink is coming from over there. <gasps> Bartleby, look! It's her! Dilly Dally! Huh? What? Oh, my. Are you two lost? No, we're here to find you. I'm True, and this is Bartleby. We're friends of the Rainbow King. Bouncing bongos! Any friend of the Rainbow King is a friend of mine. Welcome to the Rainbow's End. I've pick a pink to see your friends. Now listen up and looky here with blue eyes and purple ears. I pack her up and give a blow. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, Dingle Dong, there's something wrong. I need that tool to toot it on. Could use a stick and stumper tool to help and set that fuchsia jewel. I pack her up and give a blow. <laughs> Rainbow King would have loved that song. Oh, Rainbow King. I miss him ever so dearly. I haven't seen him for a whole year. I could never be away from True that long. B but you're in luck. Because he sent us to find you and help get you home. Don't be a silly slide whistle. I'm not lost. I chose to stay here. Huh? huh? I was collecting these magical crystals to make a kazufa flute as a souvenir for Rainbow King. <laughs> but the very last crystal just won't budge. So I'm missing a note. And I am not leaving without it. <laughs> what kind of a friend would I be if I brought home a half-finished souvenir? <laughs> I do not think she's coming with us anytime soon. Mm -mm. He came here to rescue Dilly Dally, and we're not going home without her. Ah, uh, well, we'd better hurry, True. The sun's gonna set soon, and you, me, and Dilly Dally will be stuck here until next never-ending rainbow day. Ooh, whoa. Okay, if Dilly Dally won't leave without the last crystal, maybe we can help get it out. Time for my second wish. <laughs> We need your wampin' stompin' power to shake a crystal loose. Wap wap. Okay, everybody, watch out! <laughs> Clapping castanets! What was that? Wombat's going to help you get that crystal out. You might want to stay off the ground for a little bit. Hop on! Dilly Dally. And we're going to give it to him today, right? As in, before the sun goes down. <gasps> we might be too late. Without the sun, there will be no rainbow to take us home. <gasps> Come on, let's get moving. <laughs> it's way too steep. Not for my super kitty naughty rainbow grass. <laughs> Remind me to sharpen my claws next time. Is there another way off this island, Dilly Dally? I was going to figure that part out after I got the crystal. <laughs> so we're stuck here until next never-ending rainbow day? Look on the bright side. We finished the kazoofa flute. What? I didn't even bring any fishy poop crackers. No! Still, 
still so many fishy poo flavors to try. Come now, Bartleby. Get a grip on yourself. That's it! I have just the thing to help us get a grip. It's time for my third wish. <laughs> Your help to climb to the top of that super steep rainbow. Go, go, go! Uh, come on, hop in! Now, we all need to run as fast as we can. It's working! Um, why is the rainbow flickering? The sun is setting! We're running out of time! Faster, everyone! Gray. I miss them so much. Wait, could it be? It's too late! The rainbow's gone! <laughs> oh, no. Out a special treasure for you. Fantastic fuchsia, a kazoofa flute. <laughs> <laughs> but Dilly Dally, as wonderful as your souvenirs are, there's no greater treasure than a true friend. Oh, Rainbow King, you're so right. And I have two new friends who cared enough to come look for me. Aww. I'm sorry you missed your never-ending rainbow day. Well, not the whole day. You didn't miss the grand finale. Rocketing red and booming blue. A special sight for me and you. Here it comes. The best part of never-ending rainbow day. Fill the sky with wondrous light. Find a friend and hug them tight. to be watching the sky, don't you think? The Lantern Festival hasn't even started yet. It won't be long now, though. Ooh, I can't wait to see our glow lanterns fill the sky with light. With light. Ah, well, you're about to see something else fly by that's just as amazing. Look. <laughs> sky globs? Wow. I've never seen them up close before. They only fly past here once a year when they migrate. Migrate? When it gets too warm, they head home to the chilly north. Why, woo, woo! Ooh, I want to talk to them too. Woo! Woo, 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 woo! <laughs> I think they heard us. The 
chatting's not my thing. I'm more the strong, silent type who always keeps his cool, you know? Biggies! Um, blobs! Biggie blobs! Sky biggies! This! This thing! <laughs> They even have a cute blubby baby. Oh, hi, baby. With your big blubby baby mouth, a whole kitty could fit in there. <laughs> I don't see any wings. They must fly with their tails. Yes, they're very graceful flyers. It's landing that they're not so great at. Ninja cat hide. Ninja cat hide. Can't see. Not, not wanting to be seen. Shivering with fear. Aren't they wonderful, Bartleby? Bartleby? Where'd you go? Right here, too. We should really be going. To that non-Sky Blob Festival thingy, remember? That we were gonna go to? The Lantern Festival. I almost forgot. Okay, let's go. Wanna come with us, Z? Thanks, Drew. I'm good. I can see the Sky of Bloods and the Lantern Festival from right here. It's the best view in the kingdom. Okay, Z, have fun. Gotta go. Bye! And you Blobs have a safe migration north. Watch the festival from under here, in case, you know, it rains. <laughs> no, Bartleby. True, the sky blobs have turned around. What's going on? I think the music from the Lantern Festival is scaring them. That must be it, because they're not going to the chilly north now. They're heading towards the steamy south. Steamy and warm sounds perfect. Not for the Sky Blobs. They only like cold weather. Hot weather won't be good for them at all. We have to turn them around. Can you stop them until we get there? I'll do my best. Ocumulo! Hi. Sorry we're missing the lantern launch, Bee. But we have to help. Yep, it's what we do. Time to hop aboard. Why aren't I hopping aboard? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, legs weren't moving for some reason. To the sky, Bubs, please. Z, what are you doing? Trying to calm down the herd of sky blobs. to work on my sky blub call. <gasps> Easy, little blub. It's okay. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> They're so freaked out right now. We're gonna need some wish help to calm them down and turn them around. To the wishing tree, cute. Oh, right. <laughs> Oopsies. Thanks, Cumulo. Everyone okay? Yes. Did I forget to, um... <clears throat> did I forget to mention that the Sky Blobs get upset easily? Yes, but we know now. Okay, there you go, little wish buddy. If I can just calm the Sky Blobs down, I can get them flying to the chilly north again. But how? That will be a challenge. Let's sit and have a think about this. How 
How will you get the sky blobs to fly to the chilly north? First, the poor things are so jumpy and startled by unexpected things. I need to make them feel safe again. Like how you feel when you're with people you care about. <sighs> how warm and lovey. The way you make me feel. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Bartleby, exactly. A wish could help us do that. And if they're still spooked, then I'll need another wish that can lead them to the chilly north. The wishing tree has heard you, True. It's time to get your three wishes. I'm ready. Wishing tree, wishing tree, please share your wonderful wishes with me. Fantastic wishes. Let's see what the Wishipedia says about them. Your first wish is, ah, Tizway. It's a musical wish that plays music so sweet and enchanting that everyone loves it and wants to follow it. That's great. Tizway can help get the sky blubs to follow us too. For your second wish, you have... Sidebar, how sweet. It's a togetherness wish. It gives you that warm, cozy feeling, like when you're with somebody you care about. <laughs> I don't know what's come over me, True, but I love you more than ever. <laughs> a togetherness wish is perfect. It'll help the Sky Blubs see me as family and let me lead them to the chilly north. And your third wish is Deflect. Very interesting. It's a shield wish that can deflect anything that bumps into it. Psst. Can you deflect a sky blob falling out of the sky? Yeah, I just, I was asking for a friend. A shield wish is cool, but I'm not sure how it will help us leave the sky blobs home. You'll put the wish to good use, like you always do, True. Thank you, Z. And thank you, Wishing Tree, for sharing your wishes with me. Any questions? Just face bubble me. I know a lot about sky blobs. We will. Come on, Bee. Let's get our flying friends to the chilly north. Oh, no. Look how far they've flown already. We're almost at the steamy south. You can feel the steamy heat all the way over here. Ooh. That steamy warmth is awful. Just awful. Yeah. She's really scared. Oh, she totally is. Quick, Cumulo. We have to get ahead of them fast so we can turn them around. And I have just the wish to make them feel warm and lovey. Then I can lead them away. All together now, side by. Zip, zap, zoo, I choose you. Wake <laughs> up, Sky blobs to feel like I'm part of their family, so they'll feel safe enough to follow me. Can you? Whoa! Phew. Side by? No, wait, side by! I want them to follow me, not Bartleby. What's happening? I'm tingly all over. <laughs> Even my tingles are tingling. Uh, what's with all this sky blobbing? Bartleby. They're attracted to you. To me? You mean like I'm their mama? No, 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 no. You're supposed to be their mama. You are. Uh, side by? Mm -hmm. Can we try this again? Mm -mm. Well, thanks anyway. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
sorry, Beast. Sidebot only has the wish power to do that once. <laughs> Aww, the baby Sky Bluff really loves you now. Aww. Tell her to stop. I can't. Even the baby's mama wants you to be her mama. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm not ready to play mama. I don't even wash my own paws before dinner. <laughs> Until Sideby's wish power wears off, you are there, Mama. But don't worry, you can calm them down. I can what? <laughs> oh! Get him down! Bartleby! <laughs> hey, thanks, little blubster. Soft, squishy, good. Woohoo! <laughs> okay, keep it together, me. Sky Blobs, if we're gonna do this, you gotta. You gotta. Listen to your mama, okay? And your mama needs some space. Woo -woo. Thanks, guys. It worked! They listened! To me! See? You're a natural! Now let's lead them home! Right, home! Um, Sky Blobs? Woo -woo. Turn around, please! The chilly north is that away? Gotta listen to your mother, me. Come on, little puppies. We're leaving the steamy stuff behind. Nice work, Mama Bee. Thanks, True. That's all in a day's work. <laughs> this trip will be a breeze. Huh? What? We're stopping. Slobbering on me. Oh, hey. So this is why they landed in Happy Farming Valley. It's snack time. Yes, it is, and I like their style. <laughs> oh, B. You like tangy tum tums? Mm hmm. Hmm. Huh? Hmm. I think they want to be fed by someone else. Someone named Mama. Whoa. But their mouths are huge. What if I fall in? Fall in? Fall in? It's okay. They won't eat you. Are you sure? Pretty sure. Pretty sure? Oh, don't be scared. They love you, remember? And if anything happens, I'm right here to help. Okay, um, here's Sky Blob. Ooh. Get your tangy tom tom from your mom mom with the yum yums. <laughs> oh, well, can't say we didn't try. <laughs> maybe they'll feed themselves now. Maybe. Hmm, maybe. We're having trouble feeding the Sky Blubs. They won't eat the tangy Tum Tums. Ah, try holding the fruit in your mouth. You mean like this? Whoa, are you okay, Bee? So much flubbiness. But it didn't eat you, right? No, she didn't. That's my super brave kitty. Come on, we'll need more tangy tum tums to fill those big bobby bellies. I can do this, I can do this, I can do this. It's feeding time! Feeding Mama Bee. <sighs> Thanks. Hey, fun fact. Sky Blob tongues feel like slobbery sandpaper. <laughs> okay, little blob. Let's get you and your family home. <laughs> Chili North, here we come. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, well, well, what now? Uh, are you thirsty? <laughs> Itchy? <laughs> Need a belly rub? <laughs> what? What? She's just saying thank you, Mama. <laughs> Oh, oh, you're welcome. Oh, oh. <laughs> Bartleby, we're getting close to the festival. Uh-oh. Bingo Bango's still playing. The Lantern Festival is still going on. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no! Sky Blobs, cover oh, your ears! Oh, oh, oh. 
like I'm good, darlings. <sighs> it stopped. Oh, good. Whew. And if the music's done, <gasps> that means... Ready? Three, two, one. Lanterns away. Oh, look at that. Everyone's launching their glow lanterns. Woo! 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 Lanterns scary. Lanterns very bad. Oh, oh, no. oh, oh, no. oh, now the lanterns are scaring the blobs. Stay away from my babies. Lanterns away from my children. <laughs> huh? What happened? I forgot the lanterns did that. When they land or hit something, they pop. <laughs> With the funny sound. That way, they don't leave any mess anywhere. Well, there's just way too many lanterns. Whoa. We've got to get rid of them all before my sky blobs go the wrong way again. But if we pop all the lanterns, we'll ruin the lantern festival. <sighs> what do we do? Let's think about this. Okay, let's think. If we could make a path for the sky blobs to fly through, then we wouldn't have to pop all the lanterns. Just some of them. Yeah, yeah, great idea. We'll use Deflect, my shield wish. He can clear a path by popping lanterns away. Right on, let's do it. Zip, zap, z, y, choo, <laughs> Okay, Cumulo, let's pop some glow lanterns. It's okay. Mama's best friend is taking care of those scary bad lanterns. Sky Blobs, it's okay. Just listen to your mama and follow me to the chilly north. The sky is looking clear. It's time to skip the drama. We've got somewhere we ought to be. Better listen to your mama. I'm the head of this family. Here's what we're gonna do. We'll fly high up just like the wind and go woo, 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 woo. <laughs> Great job, Deflect. Ah, Nothing to worry about here, Skyblubs. Whoo! Now back in the bag. <laughs> we did it! Yeah, we showed those lanterns who's boss. Now nothing's gonna stop my Skyblubs from getting home to the <laughs> chilly north. <gasps> Are those... Storm clouds? No! My babies do not like those. But Mama can tell these things. Let's land until they pass. <gasps> Good stop. This is bad. The storm clouds are moving in from above and below. So they're all around us? Not yet they're not. It's clear flying through Pointy Rock Canyon. But it won't be clear for long. We have to go now. I don't know, True. Z said the blubs scare easily, and those pointy rocks look pretty scary. Oh. And that thunder's scary, too. We have to think of some way to calm them down. <gasps> I've got it. I'll have Tizway play some relaxing music. That should keep the sky blubs calm and distracted. Tizway, I need you. Zip zap, <laughs> right to you. Tizway, we need some music to help us lead our friends through Pointy Rock Canyon. Yeah, that's a little too mellow. You have to hurry, B. Okay, okay. We need music that'll get their fins a flapping so they'll follow us forward. Faster fin flapping music oh. coming right up. <laughs> Blobs, hey, you are the best. Baby Blob and all the rest. Sound off. Glove call. Wooey, wooey, woo, woo. Wooey, wooey, woo, woo. Woo, woo, wooey, wooey. Woo, woo, wooey, wooey. Almost there, we're nearly through. There's only one thing left to do. Fly through. Woo, woo. Woo, yeah. <laughs> the chilly 
I know why they call it the Chilly North. <laughs> we helped the Skyblugs get home. Can you tum tum any blob? <laughs> oh, yicky! Bit less sandpaper tongue, please. I'm so proud of you, Bee. You were a great mama. Oh, thanks, True. Well, Sideby's wish power will wear off soon, though. Then the Sky Blubs won't see me as their mama anymore. Bartleby, Sideby's wish power doesn't last this long. It wore off ages ago. It did? So the Sky Blubs love me? For being me? Yep. Just like I do, Bartleby. Uh-huh. Uh-oh. What is it, baby? What? what? <laughs> I didn't have a tangy tum-tum fruit that time. <laughs> I think that one was just a kiss. Aw, <laughs> Mama is so happy now. Now tough and puff. Are we there yet? Almost. Urban Snake promised it'll be worth the hike. Remember what they said? All I heard was, uh... Actually, they said... <laughs> Which means Splashy Splashy Springs is great family fun for all ages. Well, normally I avoid squishy, splashy things, but that does sound amazing. <laughs> We're right behind you! <gasps> There's Mount Huff and Puff! Splashy Splashy Springs is supposed to be right next to it. Well, with that giant tree in the way, we're not going to do any splishing or splashing in Splishy Splashy Springs. You're right. How are we going to move this thing? Yeah. <laughs> in and test the water, literally. Grok, are you okay? Oh yeah, no, 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 
Okay, stay right here. Uncle Bartleby's gonna get you down. Hi! Loosen it there for you a bit. Um, hi, Mount Huffinpuff. My name's True. <laughs> we couldn't help but notice that you seem a little upset. Is everything okay? <laughs> Hot lava, I think. This is not good. It's heading straight for the never ending forest and all the creatures that live there. Yeah, I can confirm that this is definitely lava, which means we definitely have to hurry this up. Yo! Yo! Maybe boiling hot to the touch, but it's perfect if you're in the market for a tasty treat. Yeah! <laughs> okay, the first one always gets burned. Okay, so maybe we have to wait for this lava to cool down a little bit. In the meantime, we can, uh, let's see, uh, well, what do we have here? We have rocks. Some more rocks over there, and, uh, boy, <laughs> a lot of rocks in this cave, uh, I don't know, um, wanna do a fun craft? <laughs> That's the spirit! Thanks, Cumulo. Be right back. Fascinating. Z, Z, Mount Huff and Puff is erupting! Oh, hi, True. And I know, I've been watching on my face bubble. Tell me what happened. Bartleby and I were there when it all started. Hey, wait a sec. Where is Bartleby? Trapped with the Yetis, surrounded by lava. They're actually on Mount Huffinpuff? Why? The Yetis took us to Splishy Splashy Springs, and then the ground started shaking. First, I thought we made the mountain mad, but then I thought it looked sad. Now I'm not sure, but Bartleby and the Yetis are trapped by hot lava. And even worse, the lava's flowing down the mountain toward the never-ending forest and Yeti Village, and all the critters that live in the forest! Blistering basalt! This is serious! Let's sit and have a think. <gasps> okay, True, how can the wishing tree help you? Well, the first thing to do is rescue Bartleby and the Yetis from the lava. Good thinking! Then, when everyone is safe, we have to stop the lava from reaching the forest. The wishing tree has heard you, True. 
It is time to get your three wishes. I'm ready. Wishapedia says about their powers. First up is Thermo. Thermo. Thermo can handle any temperature, hot or cold, and not feel a thing. Ah. Thermo is very protective. You're just the wish I need to get across the hot lava, Thermo. Next up is Diggy Dug. <laughs> Diggy Dug loves getting dirty. It can also move tons of dirt in no time. Perfect. Diggy Dug, you can dig a big hole to hold all the hot lava. Diggy Dug. Diggy Dug. And your third wish is Elongi. Hi, Elongi. Elongi. Elongi is a stretching wish. It can stretch super long, like a rubber band. Elongi. I'm not sure how you can help with Mount Huff and Puff, but it's hardly a stretch to see you're always helpful. <laughs> <laughs> Zoo Zip Zap wishes in my pack. <laughs> Thanks for everything, Z. Anytime, True. Good luck. Okay, and just a little rock here and there. Nailed it. Looks just like the Rainbow King. <laughs> Sometimes I impress even myself. All right, my Yeti friends, let's see what you came up with. Oh, come now, don't be shy. This is your first rock sculpture after all. And remember, Uncle Bartleby is a bit of a pro. <laughs> Well, uh, not too bad for a first try, a little crude, but hey, we can't all be master stone workers. <laughs> With a little help from Uncle Bartleby, you three have a lot of potential. Bartleby! I'm back to get everybody off the mountain! True! Oh, too bad we can't finish our rock sculptures. So disappointing. Oh, well. Okay, everybody, True's here, so uh, let's form a line, single file along that wall. Thank you. I'll have you guys out of there soon. Time for my first wish. Zip zap zoo, I choose you. Wake up, Thermo. Wish come true. Hi, Thermo. Thermo. That lava is really, really hot. Can you handle the heat? Ah. Mom, mom,
There's a big river of lava headed straight for us. Can you dig a hole big enough to hold it all? No, <laughs> yeah. Okay, Diggy Dog, let's get digging. <laughs> took it out. But Snick couldn't even pull it out, even after I loosened it for her. I'm sure we'll think of something. Yeah, well, it's hard to, to, to think of anything with all this r r rumbling going on. Phew. You're right, Bartleby. Let's go try and get Mount Huff and Puff to calm down. Cumulo! seem strong enough to pull a tree out of a geyser. I think you're right. So let's have a think. Okay. Mount Huff and Puff is trying to blow the log out of its side. But every time it tries, it just blows out its top instead. Maybe Elongi could cover the top so that when Mount Huff and Puff blows, the log gets pushed out instead. That's it! Mount Huff and Puff, we have a plan. It's going to be a little uncomfortable for a minute, but then it'll feel better. You're going to have to be brave and trust me, okay? <laughs> Great! It's time for my third wish. going to stretch all the way across the top of Mount Huff and Puff and hold on tight. <laughs> Can you do it? <laughs> You're the best, Elongi. Take us a little closer, please, Cumulo. Mount Huff and Puff, blow again. Really hard this time. 
would agree. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thanks for bringing us here, Ergen Snake. This turned out to be a pretty fun outing after all. Yeah, although it's too bad the water was so cold in Splissy Splashy Springs. I was really looking forward to taking a dip. water I can handle. I think this is Mount Huffinpuff's way of saying thank you. Thank you, Mount Huffinpuff! Yeah, you really saved the day! Mm. Wow! <laughs> 